Hi, my name's Jake. This is another episode of Good Idea, Bad Execution. So, if you watched this morning's video, um, what the hell is no? Anyways, if you watched this morning's video, you saw me ranting and raving. Well, not ranting and raving, just ranting, going on about one of my old man tales. But I did say that I had to get some stuff done today. So, that being said, I have to get that wheel on that wheelbarrow. Because the one that's on there at the moment is kind of tiny. So, but I can't take it back because it's, you know, been like a month or so. I don't know. Plus, I don't have the receipt anymore. So, I want to get that done. And then I want to get uh, try and get a pallet or two busted up. Uh, the girlfriend's coming, she's taking off early because she's got a dentist appointment, so she's going to pick me and the boy up here, and then we're going to go to her dentist appointment, and then on the way back, we're going to go see my daughter and the grandbaby, the grandbaby, the grandson. Yeah, I'm still doing that because it's fun. And I enjoy the hell out of it. Anyways, we're going to go take them out to dinner. And, uh, yeah. So, if I want to get anything done, I got a couple hours to get it done. That being said, let's get it done, I guess. Yeah. And see, if I was good at this shit, I would edit that to where the smoke would, like, make, you know, cut into the next scene. But I'm not. So, yeah, we're just gonna not do that, I guess. That, and I got a little fire going, because, well, we burn, um mail and excess paper so you know i uh could use a shredder but fire is more fun so there's that so all right well let's get started plus we're going to uh or it kind of looks in case you can't see that looks like we might get a spot of rain that there's English. That's what they speak over in that country. Uh, uh, England? Is that right? I know these are getting stupid, but so here's what we're gonna do. We got this. Big ass tire, it's a 16 incher, I believe. And we're gonna put that on the wheelbarrow. That being said, I'm gonna get the door open here so that we can do said project. You know, I'm a big guy, but I'm deadly afraid of spiders. I hate them. I hate them to death. Kill everyone that I can find. And living out here in the goddamn country, you find a lot of them. So, we're going to prop the door open here. With parts of the last pallet that I busted up. Alright. I can't do this with one hand, so... There you go. Uh, that might work. Bang. 
All right, now that that's done, <coughs> pardon me, don't smoke. Don't start smoking. If you smoke, quit smoking. Shit's bad for you. And our handy dandy 135 piece craftsman tool set. And let's see here. That looks to be about, I'm going to guess, half inch. So, half inch, deep well. Damn, I'm good. You know, I like Craftsman, but I don't like Craftsman. You know, most socket sets, you just throw the socket on and all's well that ends well. But Craftsman, they've got this little safety button you got to put on there. It's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, but I guess it's it's a necessary evil. You don't lose your sockets that way. So, what are you going to do? All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get this off. And we're going to... Pull the axle out, take the old wheel, <sighs> I'll find something to do with it. I'll figure something out, but, so, ah, drop the phone. Hey, there's my leg, my leg. Proving to be more and more difficult every time. Oh, I'm sure I'm just you're looking at my chin pubes there. This is proving to be more and more difficult every time I do this. I really, really, really need to pick up a damn tripod. So oh, wrong way. You know this little one on here. Kind of a pain in the ass. Works when it wants to. Alright. Yes, for those of you wondering, yes, that is a dead spider. I don't mind him dead. Still kind of creeps me out though. All right, so this okay. So what we're gonna do is take an extension. Stay here, damn you! <laughs> it just nasty. I don't like them at all. Okay. Oh, how many of these guys? I don't know how these guys do half the shit they do one handed. You know, they're making content. Alright, that's one side. Didn't need that bolt anyways. Alright, let's get the other saw in here. Ooh. 
Now the smart thing to do would just be pull these off, lift this up. But, you know, I like doing things the damn hard way. Ta-da! Okay. There goes the tire. <coughs> Excuse me. Now. This one should fit much better. Should being the operative word here. Let's uh, see if we can not quite sure what you're seeing there. Hey, that looks like a good angle. By golly, I think, I think, I think that'll work. Yeah, let's put our nuts back on. Be done with project number one today. These don't have to be super tight, you know, don't go wrenching on them. Oop, gonna lose the bolt there. No, but, oh, I gotta pick this bolt up. Let me get where I can see it down there. There we go. And ta-da! We have ourselves a working, a better working wheelbarrow again. Now this is actually a run flat. Well, it's not. A, it's not a. Uh, it's not a run flat. That's. It is just a flat free. Which makes me, I think it's it's a softer rubber, but it is solid, in, unlike that one, which uh, if it goes flat, you put a little air in it, air it back up. Not for highway use. Why not? I don't understand why. But no, this is a 16-inch... And uh, 300 pound capacity. Oh, we're going to test that out on several occasions. Yeah. What else we got here? Yeah, it's uh, not sure if you can see that. It's a 16. God damn it. 16 inch flat free tire picked up at harbor freight for like 35 but you know if i get a couple of years worth of use out of it then it's worth 35 bucks so that one i think i picked up at fleet farm for 15 or 20 something 25 maybe i don't know i don't remember it's been a while 
So, all right. Well, project number one is done. And we needed project number one so that we could get started on project number two. So, let's get off my big ass here. Kick the wheel out of the way. Oh, that sits a lot better. The only problem is I don't have anything for a sp So as you can see, the wheel is just going to kind of go back and forth like that. So, not sure what I should use. I don't have any metal tubing to make a spacer. I've got plastic tubing, but I think that's just going to wear out too damn soon. So, uh, I don't know, we're going, we'll be in Detroit Lakes later tonight, so maybe uh, pick up some metal tubing, make a, make a spacer of some sort, and uh, put that on, just to keep the wheel in the middle. But, so anyways, on to project number two. I spit when I said two and it got all over the damn camera. First things first though, gotta feed the fire a little bit. Fire! Took apart an old bed frame when we uh, moved everything out of the house and the girlfriend didn't want it put back in so I got a queen size bed frame that uh, needed to figure out what I'm going to do with I mean it's decent wood not if it sits out here much longer but it's decent wood it'll be good enough for my project Speaking of my project, holy sh Nikes, I forgot I had these guys. <laughs> pallets. More pallets. There's probably between, I would assume, between 50 and 70 pallets here. So, um, if you. It's kind of a public service announcement. If you want perfect pallets, buy perfect pallets, okay? Personally, I think that is just the most, has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard of, buying pallets. I read something a few months back. There are 8 billion pallets in use right now in this world half of which most people don't know where the hell they're at there's no way in heck you can in hell you can keep track of that many of a particular item that's like you know how many leaves are on all the trees in the world you know you can find pallets anywhere for free i see them on um, craigslist i see them on marketplace people are trying to sell them do not buy pallets get them from a local business get them from your local grocery store go to just about anywhere and say hey can i have some pallets more than likely, they're going to go, absolutely, take as, take as many as you want. We don't care. Because most places have to pay to get rid of their pallets. They have to pay someone. So if you're coming and you're saying, I'll take whatever you can give me, they will welcome you with open arms because it's one less cost that they have to incur. Okay? 
and you do that a few times you get i got one two there's about a dozen here and like i said there's i'm gonna guess over 50 there plus some scrap wood there's no such thing as scrap wood. It can all be used for one thing or another. Okay? If it's broken up, like I just did with that board, it's broken up, burn it! It creates heat! It's lived its life. That's its next purpose. To be burned, create heat, warm me up. But, and, and that's the thing about pallets, okay? Many of them aren't perfect. But, it's this one right here on top, right there, okay? Those slats on top, they look pretty good. These runners, these are slats, this is a runner, okay? These runners, they look pretty damn good. That's a two by four, that is a two by four not the kind of thing that you go to the store and you buy a one and three quarter by three and three quarter that is a damn two by four okay this is what's called a one-way pallet because the tines from your forklift or whatever you're using can only go in one way this one underneath it is a four-way pallet it's got these cutouts Okay, as you see here, that way the pallet can, or the forklift can come in this way, or the forklift can come in this way. Doesn't matter. But you know what? Even if you can salvage three, four boards off of a pallet, burn the rest, you're creating heat, you're getting wood for free, okay? So it's free heat. Free building material, because as everybody knows, this is the middle of July 2021. Wood prices are starting to come down, but I'm sitting on a freaking gold mine right here, okay? I could sell this to some idiot and buy a new damn Corvette. Just kidding. I wouldn't buy a Corvette. Well, not with this, but anyways... So if you can if you can salvage anything, even if you can salvage 10% of the boards off of a free pallet, that's still free. Yeah, you got to put a little sweat equity into it. So what? But they make tools to make that easier. It's not a hammer and pry bar anymore, folks. Okay, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this sucker. Oh. Oh, and these, oh, these wood. Oh, and it's one, two, three, very good two by fours. This is your standard 40 by 48 pallet, okay? So I got 40, 80, 120 inches of two by fours, <coughs> excuse me, that I can... Stack together if I need to, okay? These these make great floorboards. Once you plane them down, sand them down a little bit, they make great floorboards. They make great uh, siding boards. If you're just using, if you're just doing what I want to do, ow! Careful though, they have a tendency to get a little heavy. But if you're going to do what I want to do with these things, which is I want to put up a small cabin, nothing humongous, just like, I don't know, maybe 16 foot square, 20 foot square, whatever. Just something I can go out in the woods because we got 10 acres here. Something I can go out in the woods and just spend the night. Have a little campfire in the morning. I can look, well, not now because there's so much foliage. Foliage, big word for the day. Actually, I think I used consternation earlier. But. It's kind of heavy one-handed. 
I have an idea. No, because I got to do that one-handed too. Uh, you guys are making my life hard. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this for just a minute. I'm going to pick this sucker up, bring her into the shop, and then I'm going to show you how to break it up, okay? So we'll be back in just three, two, one. Okay, so if you're old and fat like me, get help. You stir up the fire in the other day. This is yet another project I got. Emptying that sucker. I gotta get all the ashes out of it. Find somewhere to dump them. Actually, I think I know where I'm going. I plan on dumping them. But that's another video. So anyways, there's our pallet. Now, there is one broken board. Oh, it's actually right down here. So, again... Pallets. If you want perfect pallets, go buy freaking perfect pallets. Okay? Spend 5, 10, 15 bucks a pop. I don't care. If you want wood that is going to fix the problems that you need, or that you have, okay? You want it for free, all you got to do, put it in the back of your car, put it put a bunch of them in the back of your truck. Get a trailer, call a friend, rent a friggin' U-Haul. I don't care. It's free. You can't pass up free. And that's my biggest issue. You cannot pass up free. I love things that are free. I love things that are free. I told the boy that earlier today, or yesterday. We were, uh... We were out clothes shopping yesterday because we had a, we have a wedding, uh, which I explained earlier in the last video. We have a wedding coming up on Friday. So I took him out and, uh, made it, he made a comment about getting something for free. And I'm like, dude, if I can get something for free, I'm going to get something for free. Why would you do that? I'm like, well, I said, cause when you start having children and you realize how much you have to pay to have children, you will jump at the chance for something free. Free. So. It's just. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Okay. Yeah. It might cost you a little gas. It might cost you to sweat a little bit. Okay. If you want to use a hammer and pry bar. Those are going to cost you too. But what are you getting in return? same return i'm gonna get one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i believe there's six more underneath so 15 minus one that's broken here 14 boards this one's a little janky but it can be cut off right right there i got the miter saw to do that no big deal even this one i can still salvage this one by just cutting it off right before it breaks, right before the break. So, still, 15 boards of various size for nothing. It's going to cost me a little bit of sweat. I picked them up from where I work. And I was coming home anyways. It cost me an extra 20 minutes of time to load them up in the truck. That's it. So, if you can get something for free in this life, by God, take it. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch. If you don't know what that means, it means there's always a price to pay. But this is free. This is really free. Free, 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 free. You know, like that stupid ass commercial on TV right now? Free, 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 free. I think it's. I don't know what the hell it is. It's not car insurance, but something. But, uh, so yeah, you get the opportunity to pick some, you know, if you need lumber for something, for a, a shit project that you're doing. And you know what? Honestly, go online, go on YouTube. There is a hundred different channels out there about making 
a million different things out of pallet wood. And I have found one, one video of one guy saying, don't do it. It's bad wood. It's got, you know, all sorts of disease and, and chemicals in it treated. Yeah, okay, and? That just means it's going to last that much longer when I build my cabin with it, right? I, I guess. So, all right, well, I'm going to end it here. We're going to come back in a couple of minutes because this one's getting on half an hour now. So we're going to end it here, and uh, we'll be back in a few minutes with another video to show you how to break this sucker up with that big blue monstrosity right there that is a present from the daughter for from last christmas she's awesome she knows her daddy she knows what her daddy likes because i told her to buy it for me anyways um bugs but yeah, we'll be back in a couple minutes. I'll show you how to bust one of these up the real, real easy way. The quickest way that I have found now that I have this beautiful, beautiful tool. So until next time, take care of each other. We love you. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.